evening. Um, we've just had our food shop arrive and I'm not going to do a full on food haul of every single item that we've bought. But there are some things in this food shop that I'm extremely excited about that I really want to share with you. I got us the big tub of peanut butter. It's good one, huh? The good stuff. Um, it was on offer. I always forget how good Tesco Club Card is. If you can actually get a really good amount of discount. I've actually got a family coming up tomorrow to stay with us and we're gonna make pancakes for breakfast. So obviously I had to get Nutella. And then I also got some berries, got blueberries, raspberries, and then a big pint of straws. Obviously frozen chocolate croissants because they are just great. A big thing of chocolate juice. Again, this was on offer. This is Eli's favorite yogurt. It's like proper Greek thick yogurt. Apple also, Sorry, I'm, I've only just discovered or tried pretty recently this year that apples and peanut butter are an elite snack. And I have Eli's thanks for that because I used to judge people that would have peanut butter and apple and I was like, oh no, peanut butter needs some chocolate. And then I tried it for the first time and I was like, actually, this is really, really good. The last thing that I want to show you that I'm really excited about is this, our oh, team. I used to have this around my nan and granddad's when we used to go around for sleepovers and it just feels, I don't know, I might have it and it might be absolutely disgusting, but I think I'm gonna drink it and it's gonna feel really nostalgic. It's just basically oaty, isn't it? But, um, yeah, you I... Oatly. Sorry? Oh, oh, right, you mean flavour-wise it's oaty? Yeah, flavour-wise it's oaty. It tastes oaty. like oatly. I don't know, I can't, honestly, I can't remember what it tastes of, but I used to love it when I was a kid. And it, yeah, it just reminds me of my nan and granddad. So I'm really excited to give this a go. Tonight, I get to try it tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna unpack all the other stuff. It's just boring bits and bobs like milk, sesumas, tea bags, wipes, all of that. Um, but yeah, just wanna show you my exciting purchases. <laughs> you saw me this morning and now it's about five o'clock like i said yesterday i've got some family coming around this evening um and they are staying till saturday so i'm going to try and film as much as i can whilst they're here but i don't know how long this weekly vlog is going to be um but like i said yeah i'm going to try and film whatever we get up to i had to quickly film an ad campaign this morning for nike it was quite a quick turnaround so yeah i had to film that and then edit it edit it and then send it off but it's I'm really excited for it to go live. It's for their Cortez trainers and the colorway is called Picante Red, which is um, which is really cool. And they're a really cool pop of color. So yeah, I'm excited for that to go live if it gets approved. <laughs> and then I've been cleaning for about three hours because obviously, like I said, family's coming around, wanted the flat to feel nice and look nice. So yeah, I've just had music on and been cleaning, which is it's actually quite fun, but I feel like, huh, I'm done now. So I've got about an hour spare until they arrive. So I'm going to make myself a little snack and I'm going to read. I didn't really get many chances to read last week and I haven't done much reading this week either, apart from when I was on the train heading to Brighton. So yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity, just have some me time and I'm going to read. And I mean, can you see on the left? I haven't got very far. Uh, this is the fourth one from the Bridge Kingdom series. It's really good, but I just, I can't dedicate that much time right now to like really dive into the book.
anyway um yeah so i'm gonna take time to read like i said gonna get snack and um just chill feel much at all today. Um, we had a very slow, chilled morning, which was really, really nice. And then we headed out into Central, did a little mooch around, walked into Liberty. Um, and then we had lunch, which you would have seen. And then we just came back and again, I've just been chatting and just chilling and it's been really, really lovely. Um, but I'm in my comfy clothes. These trousers are from Piglet in Bed. And they are just the most comfiest things ever. Plus the gingham is just so freaking cute. Obviously big oversized jumpers from the row. These are my favorite jumpers. Um, just the fit, the colors, the thickness of the knit. I just love them. But we're gonna have some kind of nibbly bits for dinner because we obviously we had pasta and pizza for lunch. We're feeling quite full still. So we're gonna have like some nibbly bits for dinner. And then I think we're gonna play Uno later. And I think we're gonna try and incorporate tequila in there somehow. So maybe if you lose, you have to take a shot or something, but we want it to kind of, we wanna involve some tequila in there, you know, make it a bit more fun. Um, so we're gonna have a little fun Uno night, which I'm excited for. Lena is, where is she? There she is. <laughs> Never far. Um, but yeah, today's been very, very lovely. Apart from the rain, it's just, I'm not sure where spring is, not gonna lie to you. And also my phone is just going in and out of focus. I desperately need an actual camera. beautiful sunny day today it has just lifted my mood the fact that there is blue skies and sunshine oh outfit rundown for today my silver and gold earrings are from misoma um i love these i would have shown you these in a few videos ago but i just love the mixed metal this denim kind of tie shirt jacket is from asos but it is actually currently sold out but i will still link it below red bag is from cos it's just great. You can just fit so much in there. Chuck it on your shoulder. It's a really nice, like, fun pop of colour. Um, love it. Sunglasses are the black ones from Miu Miu. I've got these navy tailored trousers on, which are also from Cos. And then New Balance RC42s, my new favourite trainer. everybody um we are going to go on the london cable car this evening it's something that me and eli have never done but we've lived in london for two and a half years now so 
with the family up, it feels like it's only right to give it a go, do something fun, see everything lit up at night time. Um, if you're interested in doing it as well, it's the IFS cable car and I think it's six pounds one way or you can do literally there and then back round and it's a total of 12 pounds but um, yeah, hopefully the sights are very pretty. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be quite scared of the height but you gotta do these things. So um, yeah, kind of excited. I feel like I'm going on a ride in like America or something, like some kind of theme park. Nah. Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Um, it's absolutely foul weather <laughs> that you have joined me and Eli and Lena because we're going to, where are we going? What's the place called? Old Ivy House. The old, old Ivy House and they are doing a Mario Kart evening where people can take it in turns to play Mario Kart on a big screen. And to top it off, it's going to be a live band that would be playing the Mario Kart music and sound effects. So I don't know whether I can include any of the music or the sound effects due to copyright issues, but I'll have to do a bit of research before posting the video. But um, yeah, I think it's gonna be... Don't worry, I saw. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a really fun evening. I'm also meeting Charlotte and Isaac as well, which is Eli's brother, Isaac, and then my friend. <laughs> oh, bro, hang on, take I know. a second. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So yeah, people are used to me being out of breath whilst walking. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, we're heading there now. Disgusting weather. We're getting soaking wet. Lena's being carried because she hates the rain and I don't want her being wet and miserable for the whole evening. So yeah, but I'll show you when we get there.
we going to do monthly favourites? Yeah, it is for April because can you believe it? May is next week. I can't believe we're in May already. Anyway, monthly favourites for April. Going to start off strong with jewellery. You've probably seen me wear these quite a lot. It is the gold and silver Masoma studs. I just love the mixed metal. I think they're really cool. They're a really cool statement. I will say though, that maybe I'm just a bit weird um, and no one else will really find this, but I only like to wear them when my hair's down. Because the earring kind of stops like halfway, I don't like the look of it when my hair is tied up or like, I just, I just yeah, I don't know. I only like them when my hair's down. Regardless, I still love them, but I feel a little bit limited to only wearing them with my hair down. But again, that is a personal thing. Um, so these from the Soma, I love. And then the next story piece that I'm obsessed with is these cross earrings from Tiger. Again, I just think they're a really cool little statement earring to wear. I saw someone on TikTok wearing these actually, and I was like, oh my God, they look really cool. And then, yeah, that's why I bought them. Um, you can get them in sterling silver as well, but I like the gold. So yeah, these are my favourite earrings this month. Okay, next favourite item is this red bag. You saw me use it last week in the vlog. Um, it's just from COS. Actually, I wore it this week as well. Um, yeah, it's from COS. It's just a really nice coated material. You can fit quite a lot in there. But it's mainly the fact that it's just really fun to add a pop of colour to your outfit and just make it a bit more interesting. Um, it's just a great bag. Like great i think it's 45 pounds which i actually think is quite reasonable for a handbag um and for one that you're probably going to wear quite a lot so yeah okay well i clearly couldn't pick which one was my favorite this month so i've got two starting off strong with the new balance rc42s you would have seen these in a previous video where i've shown you the difference Ooh. Um, these were recently gifted to me, but I am obsessed. They're my new favourite trainer. I absolutely love them. Unfortunately, I've already made them dirty because I'm wearing them quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, I just know I'm going to be wearing these a lot throughout spring and summer. Like I said, these are the new go-to trainer for me. So RC42 with the flat sole. Mwah! Stunning. Which then leads on to the next shoe that I am obsessed with this month and it is the Mason Margiela tabby shoe. I bought these mid-month but I am so obsessed with them that I had to include them. I want to wear them every single day but I'm telling myself, no Chloe, you have other shoes that deserve your love as well. Share it between them all. But yeah, I honestly love them. I understand that a lot of people won't like them and that's okay because they are a very weird ugly shoe but I think that's probably a reason why I love them so much and when I put them on with an outfit it really does just kind of like elevate the full look and just make it that little bit more I don't know I'm just, it's just a little bit more a little bit more cool you know um so yeah obsessed with these shoes and then the last item for my monthly favorite is my little film camera this is the Kodak Ektar H35 um, it's a really fun little film camera. I'm kind of getting back into it again. It's a really reasonable price film camera. They also come in a few other colours. You can get it in like a black, a pastel yellow and a kind of like pastel green I think. So they're very very cute and very aesthetic. It does shoot in half frame which I'll put pictures on the screen now to kind of explain what that is. Which some people might not like but essentially you know, if you have a camera roll of 32 film, you can get about 64 shots. It just means that they're going to be next to each other. But I don't really mind that because you can create really nice little stories with the images. But yeah, it's really lightweight, really easy to use. Um, and it's just really fun to have like physical copy photos, you know, of like fun memories. Anyway, that is my April monthly favourites. Not that much. I feel like I rattled through it very, very quickly, like I normally do. Um, so apologies there. But anyway, I'm going to end this weekly vlog here. I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you for love and support as always. And I will see you next week. Bye.